Hi, it's Chris here. Today's song is Love Is On The Radio by McFly. Here is a three-sided handout, which is a detailed structure of the song. Uh, it starts off, um, well, you've got the chords written out here, if you don't know those. It starts off with a drum intro, which is four or eight bars. Um, the guitar intro, which is the same as the verse. Uh, there's a, a verse guitar fill as well, which I'll teach you. Pre-chorus. Then if we turn over to page two, there's a chorus, uh, what's that thing? The interlude or instrumental. Uh, then the verse again, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, pre-chorus, chorus three, which is slightly different from uh, the, the previous one, the refrain, the instrumental, and finally on the third page is the intro violin melody. Let me play you the intro, on verse chord progression once through, then I'll explain how to do it. So here we go, one, two, three, Four. The first chord is G. To do that, it's three, or well, the easiest or well, most basic form is three on the first string. Open two, three and four, two in the fifth, and three in the top. And you're going to play this for seven beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then you change to A minor for one beat on the fourth beat of bar two, actually. And then it's going to be open first, one on the second, two on the third, two on the fourth, open fifth, and nothing on the top. The third chord is E minor, which is open first. Open second, open third, two in the fourth, two in the fifth, open top. And you do all six strings. Um, and that's for two beats. One, two. Uh, the next chord is an inversion or a variation of D major. So you can also play uh, a standard D major chord. But we're not going to do that because the actual chord is D over F sharp. To play this chord, you want to put your index finger on the 2nd fret, top string. And you want to keep it nice and flat so that it mutes uh, the 5th string. And then 2nd finger goes on the 2nd fret, the 3rd string. And finally, place your 3rd finger, 3rd fret, the 2nd. And you want to mute the 5th and the 1st. And if you keep your fingers nice and flat, it should automatically do that. So. Uh, this is D over F sharp for two beats, three, four, and then back to G, four beats. One, two, three, four. In terms of strumming, you can keep it really simple. You can play, uh, you can do down up on each beat. One, two, three, four. Or maybe something like this. One, two, three. So that was down, down, up. One, two. For this example is G major. So that's the intro. Um, I'll play it through one last time nice and slowly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the intro chord progression is identical to the verse, so we don't need to Next on page one is um, a guitar fill, but we'll look at that at the end of the video. We'll go through the chords first. So we move on to the pre-chorus, which is like this. It's three chords, C major, which is open first, one on the second, open third, two on the fourth, three on the fifth, and then open uh, nothing on the top. This is C, you do it for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then to D major. One, two, three. Now the next chord is G over B, and that simply means that you play G major, but from the fifth string instead of the top. And you play this on the slightly after the fourth beat. So it sound like this. I'll go from D. One, two, three, four, E and a. One, two, three, four, E and a. So just slightly after the fourth beat. Okay, let me show you the pre-chorus once more. 
C, D, and then G over B. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, I think. Um, turn over to page two or scroll down, however you're viewing the handout. And the chorus goes like this, one, two, three, four, and C. Okay, so we start on C major for two beats. I'm going to do down, down, up, down, down, no, 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 down, 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 up. So three downs and one up, down, 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 up. Same pattern on G. And then to D major. Um, I haven't gone through this one yet. So D major is going to be index finger, uh, second fret of the third string, fifth finger, um, third finger, third fret of the second. 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the 1st, and you play from the 4th, so you do 2 beats on this, then E minor for 1 beat, just a down strum for that, and D over F sharp, just once on that, 2 beats of C, back to G, D major, for 3 beats, 1, 2, 3, then we have this G of a B chord played slightly after the fourth beat. I'll go from D. One, two, three, four, and. And the second line of the chorus is C. To G. Yikes. We've got B7. This is kind of tricky, this chord. So the two beats again. So it's uh, second fret on the fifth. First fret on the fourth. 2nd fret on the 3rd, open 2nd, with your 4th finger it's going to be 2 on the 1st string, miss off the top, and do 2 beats on this, an E minor for 2 beats, C for 2 beats, 1, 2, and then D on the 3rd beat, the last bar, and then on the 4th beat you rest, and it's quite a short chord. Next we have the interlude, which is two bars of G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you repeat the verse, it's a pre-chorus, the chorus. Next is the bridge section, which starts on C major and is played for two full bars, or eight beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And to G for seven beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then A minor for one beat. Second line of the bridge, E minor for three beats. One, two, three, D over F sharp, or D for one beat. Then G for three beats. One, two, three, C on the last bit of that bar. Then G for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the 8th beat it's going to be, or well, the 4th beat, is A minor for 1, then G, uh, no, 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 then E minor, this is the 3rd line of the bridge, E minor for 3 beats, 1, 2, 3, D over F sharp for 1 beat, G for 3 beats, 1, 2, 3, C for 1 beat, and 2 bars of G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, Three. So if you're kind of lost, kind of confused, let me point where we are. Even I don't know. We're here, so next is the pre-chorus, then you repeat the chorus. However, you're going to miss off uh, C and D. Then we have a refrain, which is A minor 7. G over B. C. A minor 7, which is like A minor, like the third finger, 2, 3, 4, G over B, which is G, but from the second string, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 
then four, slightly quicker, downs on C. One, two, three, one and two and D on beat three. And again, one, two, one and two and three, four. Let's go through the guitar fill here. And then we'll finish off with the violin guitar riff, which you hear at the beginning. See if we can get this right. So one, two. Something like that. So it goes one, two, and. There we go. That's much better. Not perfect, but uh, anyway. So with your index finger, you're going to play seven on the third fret on the third string, seventh fret on the third string, and with your second finger, eighth fret on the second string, and then you're gonna hammer on between seven and nine on the third, so index to your third or ring finger, whilst playing the second or third strings like this. Then you lift off your third, play seven and eight again, then you're going to do nine with your third finger or ring finger on the fourth string and slide it down to the seventh. It's got to be nice and quick. So five on the fourth with your index. And then you're going to do a pull off to, from seven to five on the fourth and fifth strings. And it's got a slight swing to it, which means the first note is longer than the second. And then to seven on the fifth, you hold it for three beats. One, two, three. On the fourth, you go down to the fifth on the fifth string for one beat. To finish off this uh, guitar fill, it's three on the big E string for four beats. And from the beginning, it goes like this. One, two. I think. Okay, if we turn over to page three of this handout, here is the intro guitar or violin riff. And again, whoops. So it's three on the second, open second, then a hammer on between zero or an open third to two. A hammer on is where you play one note and flick onto another one to produce a sound. So zero to two on the third, zero on the second, then a reverse of a hammer on, which is called a pull off, or more like a flick off, because it's a flicking off kind of motion. So it's two to zero on the third, and remember to flick down with that one. Then it's two on the fourth to open fourth. One last time. Cool, that's it, we're done. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any song requests or need any help, just send me a message. Thanks for watching.